Hey everybody, Married Man here. So we've got a working compound sliding miter saw and we needed a stand for it. I ordered this rigid universal miter saw stand. We're going to put it together see how it works. Come with me, I'll show you how. Let's get this thing open. Looks like the trays on the ends just stuck out. And I'll move those to my work surface. Underneath there, found the instruction manual. The instructions say you'll need three wrenches. But I don't have those wrenches, so I'm going to be using a socket set. 17 millimeters, 13 millimeters, 12 millimeters. I've got my socket wrench. I've got an adjustable wrench for good measure. And the instructions also say that you need a Phillips screwdriver. With the body of the miter saw utility vehicle on a flat surface, you'll probably want to prop up one end like I did with the styrofoam here to put on the wheels. Here we find our wheel and our axle bolt. Take the axle bolt, it goes through the wheel. On the other side, we place the washer on the axle bolt, slide it through the axle, and then secure the nut on the other side. Then we will repeat the process with the other wheel. After securing, the wheel should roll freely. At the other end of the frame, away from the wheels, you will take your handlebar and insert it as so. You will align the poles And you use these bolts. They have a screw Phillips where the Phillips had to fit on one side, and they have these acorn nuts on the other side. Once you get those aligned, you tighten it. You'll do the same thing on this side. Back on the end of the frame that has the wheels, it's time to install the frame support, similar to the way we installed the handle. Sliding it into the other tubes and aligning. You'll need to get the feet and make sure that the name rigid is showing towards the outside of the frame or the outside of the miter saw utility vehicle. You'll take these hex bolts drop one down in there. It is inset so that you don't need to have a wrench to tighten this from this end. You'll then take a wing nut and attach it as so. Once it's in position, you can just turn the wing nut to tighten. We'll do this on both sides. At this point, we raise the unit so that it's resting on the wheels and frame support. We want to align the top rails to the central brace. Once we get those holes aligned, we will use these bolts and lock nuts to secure them into place. We can now open the miter saw utility vehicle by standing on the wheel side, grabbing the handle, stepping on the release lever while pulling the handle towards you at the same time.
It's now time to attach our miter saw to the miter saw brackets. Now, there's more than one way to set this up, but with mine, since the mounting holes are in alignment and parallel, I'm going to use method one, which is to attach the mounting bracket directly to the bottom of the miter saw. You could also, if that is not the case, if yours are not lining up, you could mount your miter saw to a sheet of plywood or material that's at least a half inch thick and then mount it to the brackets. They provide two different lengths of bolts for this. I believe the shorter bolts are going to work for mine, so that's what I'm going to do. They go through the bracket, through the bottom of the saw, and then a washer, a lock washer, and then the nut go on to secure each one. I'm going to do that off camera to save you the time. With the brackets in position and secured to our saw, it's now time to make sure that the lever locks are up. And it's now time to attach our saw to the miter saw utility vehicle. With the front end tilted towards us, we want the bracket to hit the front rail first and then securely go down over the back rail. Then we can press, press our lever locks into position and lock it onto the unit. At this point, now that we know it fits, I'm going to tighten up all the bolts, securing it to the brackets, and now it is very secure to the miter saw utility vehicle. These lever locks that hold it in place are very simple. There's a release down here so that you can lift it. If you were to lift both, then you'll be able to lift it off of the, off the bracket. And once it's back in place, you can just push down and it will lock this into place. The directions go over how you can adjust that clamp if it becomes loose. We then are attaching work stops to each work support. To do that, it's as simple as lining them up, threading the bolt all the way through. and attaching the knob. You'll do this to both supports. To install the work stops on the support arms, simply start the knob, install the support, and tighten the knob. We will be setting this at the same level as our table to provide the proper support. The support stops will drop out of the way for longer pieces, but when we want to have a repeated cut, we can use this as a stop block. We'll do this to the other end as well. These work stops are nice because you can just lift them up, put them in position, and if I were cutting, say, a board that long, I could make my cut and I could put another board up here and make subsequent cuts exactly the same length. These are very nice. Now these are completely adjustable. There's a lever on this side. So this slides way out. There's a lever over here. It does the same thing, really expanding your work surface. The table itself, if you were to remove the saw, has an area in here so that if you wanted to cut a piece of thin plywood, you could actually insert it in there 
so that you have a, additional surfaces, an additional surface. You know, to have a pencil or, you know, if you just want to use this as like a small table at some point. It's not a very big area, but it is there. And you could put a thin sheet of plywood or a thin board in there. And it has holes to secure that down. Another nice feature. At this point, if I step on that release lever, it will come back to a vertical position. Now, it's just like rolling a cart. And it will go where you want it to go. Um, it's high enough so that if you needed to lift it onto a truck, it You can also store it in a horizontal position. All those cuts, exactly the same length. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. I hope this is uh, something that was beneficial to you, showing you how to put this together and got my first use out of it. And I hope that you'll give me that thumbs up and hope you'll subscribe. I appreciate you watching. I hear my wife calling, I gotta go. What you doing?